This is Miss Flores. Today we are going to retell a story using B M E or beginning, middle, and M. Are you ready? Let's retell a story. Here we go. Whenever we're retelling stories, we always start off with our characters, okay? Characters are the people, animals, or creatures in a story. Characters. Next, we identify the setting. The setting is where and when the story takes place. Setting. Then we move on to the B. B stands for beginning. Repeat that. Beginning. The beginning is what happens at the start. How does the story start? So let me tell you something. Usually at the beginning of the story, we see our who the characters are in the story, and we also see the setting where the story happens. So that happens usually usually at the beginning. Next, we go on to M. M for middle, the middle of the story. And in the middle of a story, sometimes we find that the character has a problem. So in the middle, we're trying to find out what is the problem that the character is facing or what is the problem that the character has in the story, okay? And we go on to E, which stands for end. The end is how did the character solve the problem? How did the problem get resolved or fixed? Now, I'm going to model retelling a story using one of our favorite books. You remember what it's called? Rainbow Fish, okay? So I'm just going to use a few pictures and I'm going to tell the story in my own words um, using B for beginning, M for middle, and E for ending. All right, so here we go. Let's get started. Rainbow Fish. So in Rainbow Fish, there's a lot of characters. We see Rainbow Fish, we see a starfish, we see the white octopus and the little blue fish. So there's many, many characters. But do you remember who the main character was? It was Rainbow Fish, right? Okay, he was our main character in the story. Next, the setting. The setting in Rainbow Fish was a very beautiful blue one the ocean. That's where the story happens. All right, here we go. I'm going to tell the story in my own words using a few pictures. So once upon a time, there was in the deep, deep blue sea, there lived a beautiful fish named Rainbow Fish. And Rainbow Fish had the most shining and shimmery and beautiful scales in the entire ocean. But Rainbow Fish did not want to share any of his scales. He wanted them all for himself. And the other fish wanted a shiny scale. Little blue fish went up to him and said, Rainbow fish, can I please have one of your beautiful shiny scales? And rainbow fish said, no. Then none of the fish wanted to be his friends. But rainbow fish became very, very Sad. He was very, very sad and lonely because he had no one to talk to or play with. So Starfish told him, why don't you go to the cave where the wise octopus lives and he will help you solve your problem. So Rainbow Fish was very afraid, but he went and talked to Octopus. And Octopus told him that in order to be happy, he needed to share. That sharing was good. So Rainbow Fish thought about it and thought about it. And at the end of the story, guess what he did? He shared his beautiful shiny scales with Little Blue Fish and the rest of the fish in the ocean. And he was so, oh, so very, very happy. So guys, that is how I told my story. I retold the story. Re, uh, I talked about the characters. I talked about the setting, the beginning, the middle, and the end. And you can use this to tell the story in your own words too. You see how I did it? I, I identified, I used this graphic organizer here that I'm going to post for you guys to use. And I used it and I filled out the